Hi, it's Mary here again at the Paper Turtle. And this is episode four of Taking Back My Room. And what I am concentrating on today is this pile of stuff right here on the floor. Some of it I know what it is. Other things I am not quite so sure. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to gather it all, including this, which I this has been sitting here for... I don't know how long, and I'm not sure what's in it. <laughs> so we're going to take care of that. Obviously, I don't need it because I haven't looked in it in forever. Look at the indentation it made in my carpet. <laughs> oh, my God. This is sad. Um, excuse me if I'm a little out of breath. I just got done doing a, a workout, and I'm not, like, I didn't, like, fully recover from it. Um... It's so hot here. We can't get outside to do anything. I mean, we can. We just choose not to because we do not want to endure the heat. So, um, I have to get exercise somehow. I do get out in the pool and do laps. We have, our pool is pretty long that I'm able to do that. But, um... I don't always get out there because I'm really lazy. <laughs> oh, what is that? I'm really lazy and I don't um, like to go through the whole process of putting on my swimsuit and taking it off and drying my hair and I really should take a shower afterwards. And, eh, it's, so, it's such a pain just to... Um, just to go for a swim. So, I do it sometimes, but other times I don't. Now this, I'm not even going to put on my table because this is a thing of inks. I'm giving those to my granddaughters if they want them. Um, and if they don't want them, then I will sell them. Isn't this interesting? Me walking back and forth. <laughs> no, I am. Oh, okay. And just like that, my floor is clear. <laughs> oh, but now my desk is now full again. But that's okay. We're going to take care of it. One item at a time. Um. Yeah. I'm going to set you up and let's see how much of this, hold on. Okay, let's see how much of this we're going to do together. Um, I'll probably stop you midway through just so that um, I'm not boring you. All right, this is a bag of miscellaneous sewing things. And I believe I was going to sell this stuff at a yard sale. I should call it flea market because we're not setting up in our yard because we live like off the beaten path and we could put up signs people could find us, but we don't want people to know our house is here. <laughs> so we don't want to, there's a lot of, um, undesirables where I live and we really don't want to direct them to our house because it is secluded and if they know it's here it we're not we don't want to do that so we set up at flea market type places there's a couple of places that let you set up for you know 10 to 20 dollars and uh or free sometimes they're free so we do that and that's how we sell this some of this stuff. So anyway, this, I think this is flea market stuff. I'm going to just set it over here for now because I will probably add to it. This was, this was a bag that I liked, so I saved it. But it's going to go down here with my, um, this stuff I did the last time that, where I've got um, 
you know, different kinds of materials. Those are boxes. Oh my goodness. I really should have made that somehow easier to get to, but anyway. Remember this from a previous episode. I had this stuff in this cereal box. That's where this is going. Because that is how I will use it as, um, you know, like collage fodder or something. Like it's not something that will be a signature page or something like that. Alright, this stuff, this is extra stuff for my uh, dive storage. And the things that I took out of the containers, I, I'm going to keep these because I will use these at a future time. Technically, they should be in the closet. So this is a closet item. And the problem with my closet stuff is that um, there's no room left in my closet. But I have to find room because that's where it goes. So at some point I will get to the closet and yeah, we'll do that. All right. This is an old sewing box and I really like the box except the top of it has like plastic covering it and it's kind of uh, faded and aged. And I don't know. I don't know. I, I'm debating whether I want to keep it or not. The box itself. Inside the box, I have some threads. Now, this was stuff. There's some old snap packages. I went through this not too long ago. Oh, there's my pins. My safety pins. I wondered where I put them. I have safety pins. I have a whole thing of uh, these things. Tape measures. Um, a bunch of needles. Now some of these are sewing machine needles. Some of them are regular needles. Um, some T-pins. A whole bunch of T-pins. And a bunch of bobbins and a bunch of thread. So this is all supplies that I will use. Um... I don't want to get rid of any of the stuff that's in here. The problem is the box. I don't have any place to put the box, but I might in the future, in the near future, I mean, as I'm cleaning out space over there, I might be able to make a space for the box. I would like to keep it here in the room because this is stuff that I will use. Um, so, again, this is a keep, and I'm going to set it down here for now. Oh my gosh, this is not a good way to do this. <laughs> um, and then I have paper clips, bulb pins. I guess I thought I was going to put them in here. And they ended up in here temporarily. Uh, oh, some more safety pins. This is for making like dangly things and stuff. I mean, this is a good place to put them. But this isn't all that I have. So that's kind of the problem. Is that all of my things that are in all these different places need to be put together in one spot. And I have to figure out what that one spot is going to be. And again, I don't have shelf space, so I need to, but once I clear out other areas on the shelves, I'm hoping to create some shelf space. So this is one thing that will either be done away with because I'll find another spot for it, or I will add the other things into it and I'll find a spot for the box. So it's kind of a... I have to set it aside thing. I, and I don't like doing that with any of this stuff because my 
goal is to clear it, not to just set it aside. It's temporary. All right, I have an arithmetic book and a calculus book. These are cutter books. The way I would use these is just the pages individually as like backgrounds for tags and journaling cards and stuff. There's a lot here. There's no way I am going to use all of this. So that would make a cute cover, wouldn't it? Um, one is like elementary school and the other one obviously is calculus. So they're two different types of things, two different pages. This has a lot of pictures in it. I think I'd like to save this. Get that reading is cool bookmark. Good books to read aloud, grades three through four. I wonder how old this is. Um, anyway. I just, I have other books over here that I haven't gotten to yet, so I'm going to add these to the other books, and then when I get to them, I'll have to figure out what I'm doing with them. This is a weird way to, to clean, right? <laughs> okay, these are um, test answer sheets. I think they're from like 1986 or something like that. Uh, there's a date on some of them here somewhere. But um, I picked these up at a estate sale. I think maybe the calculus book I picked up there too. Um, they're not super old, but they're kind of fun. And I only I haven't even used any of them yet. They're not right in this area. <laughs> Cute journal page, right? Yeah. Um, I just need to find a spot to keep them. Which again, I don't know where. These are two like baseball card collector albums. And I had, these are going to go in the closet because um, what I did with those, I had another one. And what I did with it was, um, where is it? I want to show it to you. It should be right here. Where did I put it? Hold on. I'm going to show you. You'll like it. Where is it? <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, here it is. Okay. So what I did with it, I covered it with um, scrapbook paper, front and back. And I use it for my ATCs. And the inside too. And I use it for ATCs that I've gotten. Isn't that an awesome way for to store your ATCs? I love it. Um, so I have three of them, I guess, thinking I was going to be getting, doing a lot of ATCing, but I haven't done that much of it lately. <clears throat> but I'll get back to it. So those will be, need to just be stored in the closet. Okay, now, this thing here. What is it? What's in here? Uh, oh, no. Envelopes? Stationery? All right. Uh, this is coming out. Because this is not where I store these things. Oh. It's stationery. Why did I put these in here? I, I guess I had an idea at one point. Uh, some of this is really pretty, too. I have to sort through this. If they're just the envelopes, I'm putting the envelopes in my envelope box. If it's stationary, uh, it's going in my stationary box if there's room. And if it's just paper, that appears to be just plain paper, it's going somewhere else. And this container... 
going away. Where it's going, it should go in the closet. But I don't think that's where it's going to end up because it doesn't, it's not going to fit. But now I have all this I have to go through. That's all right. This is, this is what I'm doing. This is called progress, I think, <laughs> or some, some form of progress. These are all envelopes. They're pretty envelopes. I definitely will use them. And the stationery. I probably should put the envelopes in the stationery together. But wow. I didn't know I had all this. Okay. Yeah, those definitely need to go somewhere else. What is this? Oh, jewelry. Broken jewelry. Beads. Jewelry. That needs to be gone through. Okay, this is project stuff. But these are already sorted. So the, and I have some other beads over there that need to be put away. So these are going with my beads that need to be put away. And this is a project that needs to be taken care of. Probably sooner rather than later. Okay, I'm going to... Well, let's just see what's in this last thing here. A bag of goodies. I think I got this not too long ago at a um, somewhere thrift store somewhere, and I have to go through it. So that's project. Put that in the project bag here. I have a note on here to go through to keep or sell. They're buttons. Oh my goodness. Okay, those have to go with like buttons and beads and some kind of twill tape. And that's what was in this basket here, um, which is a useful basket, but not at the moment. So that's closet stuff. None of that will fit in my closet. <laughs> okay. Wow. All right, that's, that's that for now. I'm going to go take care of all of this stuff. Um, maybe I'll sort through some of these bags in a video. Maybe I'll attach it to this um, just to make this a little bit longer and maybe more interesting. Um, so I will be back. Okay, I've got a few things, the big things kind of put away in a spot. Um... Not at their final resting place, but out of my way anyway. And they're not on the floor. Um, I went through the stationery and I kind of organized, put the envelopes with the paper and shoved that into the shelf with the other stationery. That shelf needs to be gone through and organized, but it's all together. That's, that's where ultimately will live once I get it um, completely cleaned out. So that's right now it feels like I'm just moving things from one spot to another, but that's really what's going to be happening here. I'm throwing away some things, but really everything that I have, I feel like it's stuff that I want to keep. So that's what makes it a very hard process for me. I want to keep it and I have no more room for any of it. So that's, that's what's frustrating for me. When I buy a bag like this, I have to discipline myself into going through it and taking care of it right away. 
right after I do my haul video, that should be the next thing that I do. But what I've been doing is taking bags like this, like this, and like this, and tossing them on the floor over there. That's what I can't do. I have to take the time to take care of it right away. It, it's That's a hard thing when you got something else on your mind that you want to do. Um, but that's what I need to do. So right now I'm going to go through this bag and see what I've got in here. It looks like a lot of this stuff is not junk journaling stuff. Um, so I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it. But let's see what we've got in here. I just dump the whole bag out. All right. We have some bows and some... This is a, quite a miscellaneous bag of... Uh, who knows what the heck is in here and what I'm going to do with it. All right. I ha I do have a... Um... A drawer, a little drawer. You know those little, I don't know, they sell them in the hardware department to keep, like, their little drawers to keep screws and things like that in. Well, I have one of those. It's it's quite a good size one that I've had for years and years and years. I bought it um, when I was doing scrapbooking. Well, I still do scrapbooking. I bought it in my older scrapbooking days for scrapbooking stuff, and I still have it. One of the drawers has little bows in it, but these to me are Christmas bows. So these are going with my Christmas stuff. Um, so I'm going to make a little pile of Christmas stuff in case there's more stuff here. That's where that's going to go. This is getting thrown away. This will go in with my little appliques and things like that. And then these will go with my um, jewels. Yay, we're making progress. Okay, here's a couple of buttons. So we'll make a button pile. A dime that will go in my bank. <laughs> this is, is it a bead? Does it have a hole to go all the way through? Yes, okay. So beads will go, in. I need a. That will be for beads. Um. This can get thrown away. A little candies swim tag. Well, I don't think I'm going to use that. Now, no, don't keep every little thing, Mary. Be, be reasonable here. Um, some more snaps. These will go into that bag for the flea market. This can be thrown away. A button. Let's get things out of the little bags and things, you know, doesn't need to be, we don't need to keep that kind of stuff. Okay, we have this little piece of trim. that will go in my trim thing over there, which I still have to go through um, another day and get that trim. Like pieces like this that are big will come out of there. You know what, let me just do, let me roll it up right now. Show you what I do with them. So I have like these, these things that you know, come from the trims. I'm not putting it on this way. I'm going to put it on this way. And I'm going to cut it to size. And it saves room in my, the way that I store these things. Um, and this is how I, I do it. I just put it on a little piece of cardboard, wind it around, and it goes in my... Um, I have like the plastic shoebox size containers. Uh, and that's where all my lace trims go and they're sorted by color and by size. And it works really well for me. Um, there's a lot of it. I wish I didn't have so much, but like I said, it works well for me. 
normally what I'll do is put a little piece of um, painter's tape on there and that will go in my lace thing. Buttons. There's one button on this card. It's old. It's not uh, anything special. So we're going to take the button off, throw the card away. This is a tiny bit of ribbon put in my little ribbon jar over there. All right, we have an apple, which is does not appear to have any holes in it, except, yeah, there's a little hole in the top. Okay, I can use that as a charm. This is a flat back. Um, probably not something that I'm going to use. So what I'm going to do with some of this stuff is I'm going to put it all in a another little bag or something and, and sell it. And in fact, I think I'll put that with it. Um, this, is it a bead? This looks to me like a disco ball. I'm trying to see if there's a hole in it anywhere that it can be used for a bead. Uh, I don't see one. I'll just put that in there. Button. All right, this is, it's not um, strong, so there's really not a whole lot that I can do with this. Maybe somebody in some other crafting ability can use that, so that'll go in that little bag there that's going to be a... A miscellaneous bag. There's another one of those. All right. Um, I don't know as I need this, although it's kind of interesting. Should I keep this? I know you're saying, oh my gosh, every little thing there and just throw it away. Um, yeah, I, that's what I should be doing. But I'm like, if I, if I think there's a use for something, I want to use it. That's what junk journaling is all about, is taking junk and using it, right? I mean, isn't that what we do? So why just throw it away if I think that I can use it? And I know that's kind of like a, almost like a hoarding mentality, but it's, it's not. It's crafting stuff. I'm going to throw that in there. <laughs> All right, these little flowers, I have so many of these. These are gonna go into a bag also because I have so many of them and I don't really feel like sitting here taking them all apart and yeah. All right, we have a little cow these little animals, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with them. Maybe those will go in a separate bag. It's a little bulldog. Because I really don't, these aren't things that I collect. They're very cute. But not necessarily my thing, you know. Toothpaste tube. It's not in good shape. So that'll go with that. This is a one of those things. We'll throw that in with those. We'll throw these little charms in with those. And we have more little animals. These are like little vintage animals. They really are. Um, oh, it's broken. But, like I said, I have little animals. But mostly I have cats and turtles and stuff. So, these can be passed on to somebody else. I'm going to put this in this bag. A button. A button. That can go there. Ew. That was a dried up rubber band. Those can go there. There. 
a pig stamp. He's cute. I'm going to keep him because I might do a um, farm journal. So he's going to go in with my stamps. We have some buttons. Put those there. Let's take care of this stuff. A little squirrel. Oh, he's cute. I might keep him. A button. A little bunny. Should I keep all these? No. Mary, you don't need all these. You, you don't need these. Some jewels. Button. Don W. Kelsey Company. And a phone number. I I thought at first this was like a bottle opener or something, but oh, you know what? It moves out. It's like a little screwdriver thing. So it turns out like this. It's kind of stuck. There we go. And then you have different screwdrivers. That's what that is. Um... I'm actually, I have a little basket of things that I found in button jars that aren't buttons. I'm going to just put this in there because it's something a little different and unusual. Don't ask me why I keep that kind of stuff, but I do. Okay, here's another animal. He's broken, but I'm going to put him in with them anyway. And another tag. Here's another dog. Another toothpaste thing. What is this? It looks like a toilet bowl cleaner. A little tiny hairbrush. Um, cherries. Alright, what else we got here? This is trash. Another dog. Barney! Look at Barney! He... It is too bad that he's got all this crap on the back of him. My son used to like Barney. I wonder if I can get that off. It probably, if I heat it, I could melt it. Yeah, I'm not going to mess with it right now. I feel like I want to keep Barney. I don't know why. This is a little dog. It's Japan. See, these little porcelain ones, the little porcelain ones, people collect those. Here's a little mirror. We'll put that with those and that with those. So I think that... Um, oh, hold on, I have to shut my door. So I think that somebody will buy a little bag of these animals because those porcelain ones are in there. I'm not, I don't think that I will use these mirror things. Just get all this stuff up off my desk over here. Buttons. Oh, look at that smiley face button. That one's that one's pretty vintage. I don't know what that is. This is a rose. We'll throw that in there. Button. Little mouse. I don't know what that is. Okay, this stuff can go. I really should just get rid of, just throw all this stuff in a, in a bag. Uh, 
All right. <laughs> this is the buttons. No. All right. These can go in here. And then I have this bag here, which appears to have some jewelry. Look at that. That's a pin. Oh, what a shame. Oh, you hear that thunder? What are these dice? They're all, um, all the numbers are off of them. I could probably just fix that, right? With a pen. Like, I wouldn't, I don't know where this, but they, I could put, use the dice on a, as beads, you know? These are not, these are not good dice. I'll put those in the, the little crafting bag. There's a charm. That's an earring. So, this is all jewelry that needs to be taken care of. Uh, I'll make a wish coin. That with that. I'm going to just, for now, stick these in the jewelry bag with the other jewelry that I have to do. And then I'll take care of those. Um, so let me take care of this stuff. I need two bags here. Alright, so this is, I'm going to turn the, the video off because you don't need to see me bagging things up. So this is what what I am working on. I'm, I am going to go through the jewelry, I think, at some point here. And then that'll take care of the stuff from this, this episode, I guess. Um, yeah, we're getting there little by little. Um, next episode will probably be a shelf. I'm not sure. I still have stuff on the floor though. So maybe I need to tackle some more of that. I don't know. We'll see. Stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Bye.